Being a data scientist gives you many opportunities to generate multiple streams of income. And in this video, I want to break down my seven income streams and hopefully give you some ideas of ones you can try yourself. Let's get into it. My primary and most significant source of income is my full-time job as a data scientist. I've been working now for over three years and I absolutely love it. I get to work on such interesting projects, use lots of cool tech, and work on cutting edge technologies like generative AI on a daily basis. As I've discussed in previous videos, getting into data science is not easy. It requires a lot of effort and learning technical topics like maths and coding to quite a high level. However, that effort is rewarded quite well. Even though I can't state my salary with respect to my employer, I do earn quite a bit above the average salary in the UK. By no means I'm trying to flex here, it's more just to be realistic and honest about kind of what salary you can expect as a data scientist. I mean, I'm far off from being a millionaire. As an entry level data scientist, you'll typically be earning around the UK median salary when you first get started. So you can see how at the entry level, you're already at like the average salary in the UK. So you can see how it's really like lucrative as you progress in your career. Glassdoor puts the UK's average data science salary between 40K to like 65K. And from my kind of experience in the field, this seems quite realistic. It depends on a lot of factors like industry location, but that ballpark figure sounds about right. If you're interested in becoming a data scientist, then make sure you check out my previous video where I give a whole detailed roadmap about how I would learn data science again. I'll link it on screen here in case you want to check it out. I try to invest as much as possible because investing to me is like the only real passive income stream that's out there because once you put money into your investments, you don't really need to do anything anymore. For those of you interested in how I invest my money, I'm gonna go over in a sec, but needless to say, nothing I'm gonna explain is financial advice, and I'm not giving investing advice whatsoever. I'm just going to explain what I do, and hopefully it may give you some ideas, but again, none of it is financial advice whatsoever. So most of my portfolio, around 75%, is in the S&P 500, in a Vanguard ISA, I then have another 10% in blue chip stocks like Coca-Cola, Apple, AT&T, things like that. Then my other 10% is in the emergency funds, which is in the premium bonds, because, well, it's easy access and they also earn a bit of money. And finally, the last 5% is in crypto. So I invest in crypto mainly because of FOMO and I treat them more as a gamble. And that 5% is split equally between Bitcoin and Ethereum. Again, none of this is financial advice. I'm just explaining what I do. And I'm sure there are better ways of me kind of investing my money. Some people may say I'm too much into equities and stocks, but to be honest, I sleep fine at night and that's the main thing. From these YouTube videos, I earn a little bit of money from YouTube AdSense because I have more than a thousand subscribers and more than 4,000 watch hours. The way YouTube AdSense work is that typically at the start or the middle of a video, you'll see an advert. And what happens is that advertisers would pay YouTube or Google to place adverts at those certain slots. And depending on the niche or kind of the demand of that ad slot would dictate its price. And that price paid by the advertiser is then split 55% to the creator, so me, and the remaining 45% goes to YouTube. The revenue I get from AdSense varies quite a bit, but as I'm in the tech niche, the RPM, which is the revenue per 1,000 views, is slightly higher than other areas. And I typically get around a few hundred pounds a month from YouTube AdSense. If my channel was purely finance and business, then my RPM and total earnings would be a lot higher for the same amount of views. However, if my channel was completely like entertainment based, then my RPM would be a lot lower for the same amount of views. So you see, there's a lot of things that go into determining how much you earn from YouTube AdSense. So if you're looking to start YouTube and you want to maximize your earnings, then the finance and business niche is by far the best way for you to go. But obviously, don't just do that purely for the money. Do it because you enjoy it and you actually have expertise in that area. In addition to AdSense, I also earn some money from my YouTube channel from YouTube sponsors. Sponsors are basically companies or businesses that will typically pay a creator like myself to advertise their product or service in a video. I normally do mid-roll ads for about 60 to 90 seconds, but again, this varies between creators and basically what the business or company want. Personally, I don't accept every single sponsor I get offered, 
because I only want sponsors that I use, like, and I think that my target audience will actually find useful. In fact, the money I've earned from sponsors is actually less than the total money I've rejected from sponsors. I'm not trying to virtue signal here, but just be honest about my approach. Unfortunately, I can't disclose exactly how much sponsors pay me, but an average ballpark figure within the YouTube ecosystem is about $15 for a thousand views. And that's kind of about right from my experience and what else I've seen out there. From my content, people started approaching me asking for one-to-one -one or mentoring calls to help them progress in their data science careers. So naturally, I offer this as a service where people can book a call in with me for around $30 for half an hour, and we can discuss anything from their CV, uh, advice on projects, or just how to progress or break into data science. So it's pretty much anything they want to discuss and use my expertise to help them. I find this aspect of my so-called online business the most satisfying because I can really help an individual person and tailor all my learnings and advice from over the past you know, three or four years to really help them in their data science journey. And even though these YouTube videos have a lot bigger reach, they don't apply to everyone. So some of the advice I give on videos is you know for like the average person but not everyone's the average person and so having these one-to-one -one calls with people where i can really you know tailor everything i know to them and understand their situation and really help them is kind of really rewarding to me and like i said it's my favorite part of doing this whole online data science thing i've been blogging on medium now for over three years and i've been part of the medium partner program for a very long time the partner program on Medium is very similar to YouTube AdSense. So you basically get paid a proportion of the subscription fee that users pay to use the platform. And that kind of money you get is kind of correlated with the amount of views, claps, comments, etc. like the metrics you get on your articles. Like I said, it's pretty much like YouTube AdSense and often Medium is dubbed as the YouTube of blogging. The Medium Partner Program is slightly less transparent on exactly how you get paid or how your earnings are calculated because it's not solely based on views. I've had articles which do you know, loads of views but don't get paid that well. I've also had articles which don't get many views but pay really well. So again, it's not very clear exactly how it's calculated but there is a correlation there with basically engagement and how much you get paid. So the money I earn from Medium fluctuates quite a lot and I've had a few months where I earn over a thousand, but typically I normally earn a few hundred pounds like I do with YouTube AdSense on a consistent basis. My lowest income source is all the affiliate links I leave in my YouTube descriptions and also in my newsletters. For those of you who don't know what affiliate links are, they're basically links where let's say I'm talking about a product such as a piece of tech, a book, uh, what I'll do is I'll often leave a link in the description of the video saying that if you want to buy this book, click on this link. And this link is a personal link that I've got from, let's say, Amazon affiliates, where if someone clicks the link and buys our product, then I get a small commission uh, from Amazon. Like I said, I mainly use Amazon Associates and depending on the product I am advertising or you know having a link for, the commission varies between 1% to 10%. I don't earn much money from this because, well, not many people buy the products I advertise. I'm not necessarily advertising them. That's kind of the wrong word. I'm more just talking about them and I'm leaving a link in case anyone wants to purchase them. I'm not trying to promote them necessarily, but it's a useful kind of passive source of income, you could argue. If you want more data science advice like this, then make sure you check out my weekly newsletter, Dishing the Data. I send it every Monday morning and it's completely free. And it's all about my advice and learnings as a practicing data scientist. I'll leave a link in the description below in case you want to check it out.